So with this uh, website we have here, we have, um, they'd like uh, this collection of logos to work similarly with like this one, where there are even sizes, even though that they're shape, there are different shapes, they're sort of uh, normalized, and they have this rollover, um, uh, no, uh, gray out effect, um, so that it, hi it highlights and you can see it more clearly, the opacity increases as you roll over it. So uh, let's take a look about how we would apply that to this collection, which is getting a little bit too busy uh, and they want this cleaned up. So what I'll start by doing is go into Photoshop and create a new project that's just uh, 200 by 200. So I'm just going to make a square. Um, 200 by 200 is fine. I would have uh, made it bigger. Might as well have it as large as you can uh, evenly go. So like uh, 400 by 400 would be a little bit nicer. Um, and you can see, well, how big do I really need it? If you inspect uh, any one of these elements, you can see right now this is 131 pixels by 100 and something. So if I hover over it, you can see the dimensions over the image. And so you can 200 by 200 is more than I need, and that'll keep the image very crisp and um, and and high def. Uh, the I'd go even further, but uh, if you hover over some of these, you can see. Some of these are not uh, especially big, and so I don't want to stretch some of the small ones. So we're already at like a 200 by 200 right here. Okay, so that's how I picked the size. Now what I'm doing is I'm adding in additional layers for each uh, company. So we have uh, one, two done first, and the, the third one I just simply drag into the box. So I'll add in an additional layer for... Um, for each one of these and then I'll just export each image I'll file save as and uh, once I standardize them now they'll all be sized uh, in this in this grid and I might uh, put in some guidelines so maybe I'll want a little bit of space and I can put in a guideline I don't know why it's not showing up a guideline anyway uh, uh, maybe it's because I haven't done this and now it'll put a guideline Okay, well, my guidelines, they keep changing how the guidelines work, so I guess I don't know the shortcut key to add. You can add in a guideline, like this little line that stays there, just so you can keep it out as a reference. Like, I want this amount of blank space, but the shortcut key isn't what I'm used to, so... Oh, alright. Hey, there we go. All right, anyway, so you can frame up the guidelines. So I want this type of margin on my on my page, and that could be kind of helpful. So anyway, so that's the process.